Welcome to another crafting and DIY with Nora. I got a quick, simple project here for Valentine's Day. Oh, for love. Those bees, heart bees I bought from Dollar Tree. I'm painting them green because I'm going to add Spanish moss to them. And I don't want them to be obvious. Obvious. And I'm just hot gluing them. I see people use moss, moss, moss posh. But I like using the hot glue gun. I never had an issue. And after I did that, I spray a little hairspray over it so it could stay intact. There you go. All painted. There you go. Moss. Moss. Spanish moss. Freak. Spanish moss. Paint sticks. I didn't record myself putting them together. I don't even know how many sticks, but I do definitely will put it in the description box. I'm going to paint this brown, but I want it to look like a stained brown, and I don't have stain stainer. So I took a, a baby wipe and dipped the paint in it, and look, doesn't it look stained? I love it. So I'm going to add the... And I, was, and, I, and I really did love, I love the way the wood looks. So I just glued that on. I don't know why I stood that long showing you. There's a piece of wood also from Dollar Tree, which is, um, I'm putting it in the side angle because... I always like the side angle. Don't ask me why. And these letters I got from Dollar Tree. And what I did was I paint a set of love in red and one in brown. Because I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. What color I wanted to um, put on that wood piece. So what I ended up doing on that brown... You see how that look? I wasn't feeling that look. So what I did was I painted it red. And I painted the the two um paint sticks on top and the bottom. And I'm just sanding it down to give it that pop of brown, but obviously I was just removing the freaking paint. Even though I put that little piece in the back. For some reason, I really like when I put um you nautical ribbon. I don't know, you said potatoes, I said potato ribbon to hang it like that because it looks I like it. It gives it a really rustic look. You see, you have a choice. You could take the rope off and use the back piece. Ribbon, you know, I'm into, I own every kind of ribbon in here. And if you know, you know, crisscross, that's the only method I use. Zip tie, but I ended up pausing. You see the difference? Sometimes when the bow is big, especially that I used um, burlap um ribbon the little one wasn't cutting so i had to add the big one and i just zip tie them and just situate the bow that's it people ask me my bows are so beautiful I say beautiful i say y'all need me one. i can't make a damn bow but thank you look at that look at that i'm leaving something in the middle so i have my shabby sheet flowers which are dipped in coffee there you go I have my house robe on because it is cold in here. There you go. Look at that. This is so stinking cute. And if you're watching my channel and my video for the first time, make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. Until our next DIY project.